In this video, we're going to look at completely uninstalling DaVinci Resolve. Why would we want to uninstall DaVinci Resolve? We might have our app crashes, the app might lock up, it's a little bit buggy, or you might have upgraded from a stable version like 17.4.6 to DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta, and you had a look at the features, but you want to do some work on a stable version, so you want to go back in time. Now this video comes with some caveats and some warnings. First of all, if you're going to go from the beta version back to a previous version, you're going to lose all your work unless you have previously backed up your database oh. and all your projects. In this video, we're just going to look at a simple uninstall to make sure everything's gone and we're starting afresh. In a future video, we're going to look at installing DaVinci Resolve and how to set DaVinci Resolve up. I'm on Windows 10 Pro. Inside our windows, we're going to jump down to our menu. We're going to go to Blackmagic and we're going to find DaVinci Resolve. Right click and select uninstall. Done. Video over, isn't it really? Well, not quite, because if I select this uninstall, it's going to open the Windows Program and Features uninstaller. And here we can see DaVinci Resolve. If we did uninstall from this app, then DaVinci Resolve is going to leave a lot of files and folders behind. This is done intentionally, so if you're upgrading or you're moving the system around, you don't lose your user data. You might just want a complete fresh start, which the reason I'm recording this video is something I want to do. I've just returned from a holiday. I've got some work to do. I want to make sure DaVinci Resolve is installed and set up correctly. In Windows, you do not want to use this panel for a complete uninstall. What we're going to do is use an application called Revo. I can press the Windows key and I can type in Revo. And here we have the Revo Uninstaller app. If you've not got Revo installed, then just navigate to the website. I'll put a link in the description. And you can download the free version. Once you've installed Revo and you've launched it, then you're going to see all the applications which are on your computer. All you need to do is find DaVinci Resolves. I can highlight this icon and in the menu bar at the top, I can click on install or I can just double click on the icon to launch the uninstaller. One good thing about Revo is it's actually going to make a system restore point, which means if we do make a mistake or we've left an effect that we can't find and we want to go back to retrieve it, then we can do so. Once we've done this, we just click on continue. And the first thing it's going to do is create a restore point. Once the restore point is created, it's then actually going to launch the Windows uninstaller. Now, the difference here is it's going to monitor this uninstallation and it's going to track any files and folders that have been left behind. So first of all, we need to click yes to uninstall DaVinci Resolve using the Windows uninstaller. This takes a few seconds. Once Revo's completed its uninstallation, we can now do a scan to see what's been left behind. We have three scanning modes. We've got safe, moderate, and advanced. Advanced is a little too aggressive. Safe leaves behind user data, which is actually some of the things that we want to remove. So we're going to select moderate. What we do then is select scan. Revo is then going to scan the folders, paths that it's tracked, and it's going to give us some information back. First of all, it's going to return what's been left behind in the Windows registry. The Windows registry is something we don't really want to be dabbling in, so we're just going to allow Revo to do its work. You'll notice that all the checkboxes are ticked, so we can just select delete and then yes to delete these files. Once that's happened, you're then going to get the leftover files and folders. Now your list may be greater or smaller than this, Normally it will be a lot larger. It's because I've done this several times before setting up this video. Again, they're all checked. We just click delete and yes. And now DaVinci Resolve has been completely removed from the system. In the next video, we're going to look at installing a completely new installation of DaVinci Resolve.